Today on the go, we're looking at a legend among Italian cars. You know, the Fiat 500 is probably my favorite Segment A subcompact car. It has a 1.4 liter, 101 horsepower engine and seats forward comfortably. It's an old car, it's been around since the 1950s, but it's earned its respect on the road. In all four seasons. Unlike some vehicles. A long time ago, everyone drove really, really big cars with super big engines because everyone thought the world would never run out of oil. A few years later, the world ran out of oil, and everyone panicked. In the 1970s, every automaker started selling small cars. Ford made the Pinto, which exploded into popularity, but then it exploded, and they had to stop making it. Mercury made the Bobcat, and it exploded too. AMC had the Gremlin, but people didn't like it very much because it had to be repaired every day and it also exploded. By the 1980s, people were tired of the small car explosion, so they stopped driving compact cars, and Fiat went back to Italy. Anyone else who drove really small cars were made fun of. When the 90s happened, small cars started getting popular again. People were driving the Geo Metro, Pontiac Firefly, and the Honda Civic CRX. Ten years later, small cars were even more popular, and automakers said, what if we made small cars safe? All of a sudden, small cars were safe because they had features like power steering. The Mini Cooper and Volkswagen Beetle were both relaunched in North America, and everyone really liked small cars again. So every automaker in the world started selling their own really small cars, and everyone said, Come back, Fiat, we want to buy you! And people love small cars forever. The end. So maybe you are in the market for a Fiat. You like the look and the feel, but you want something a bit faster. Luckily, the magicians of Fiat have made the Fiat 500 a BART. It's 1.4 liter turbocharged engine with 160 horsepower. You need something bigger? Well, they've done it again. This is the Fiat 500L, Fiat's four-door. The Fiat 500 really is a completely different vehicle on the outside and the inside. Everything is bigger. It's got a bigger steering wheel. It's got a bigger back seat. It's got a bigger touchscreen. It's got a bigger sunroof. Bigger controls. It's got bigger passenger seats. It's just all around bigger. There's more space up front, there's more space for the driver, there's more space for the passenger, there's more space on the roof, and there's more space in the trunk. Let's get down to brass tacks here, folks. Whether you're looking for an efficient car that gets 54 miles to the gallon and can fit in any parking stall, or maybe a bigger small car that seats five comfortably, or what about a tiny sports car that'll blow your socks off? But no matter what you choose, you always fit in at the Fiat family. 